Good day. Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got loaded up here today a game called Slime by Synapse Software, programmed by Steve Hales and released in 1982. It is a US release, I believe, and um, requires the OSB firmware for the Atari in order to run. Now, I did have a quick boo of the manual since this one seemed a little bit convoluted uh, based on the screenshots. Here's the title sequence, which I think we will watch and listen to. It's got a pretty attractive set of attract, attract screens, what is what you would call them in the arcade sense. Nice little italic font slime by Steve Hales, 1982, Synapse Software, also from Synapse, Seamus, Fort Apocalypse, Chicken, Chicken, Protector 2, Nautilus, Picnic Paranoia, Claim Jumper, Reptilian, Dodge Racer, Seamus, okay, we're back. All right, so what have we got here? There are options, number of players, one through four. Uh, option, there we go, number of ships, three, five, seven, three, We'll go with five, bonus ship at five, drop water at ten, starting storms one, starting bonus. Okay, well that seems like a conservative-ish set of settings. Prepare yourself, carbon unit one. Okay, so... Whoop, I just destroyed my... Oh my goodness. Okay, so part of it is to get the... Oh, okay, I guess that was the beginning slime storm. Hmm. A little tricky, for sure. The fact that you're... Ooh, lightning. The fact that your ship is uh, not in your control, or the warship, I guess. That So really interesting. You just need to just tap the stick to get a new, a new uh, slime shield put up. Oh no! There goes the warship. Darn it. I'm not quite sure how to shoot things, though. Okay, I have not figured that out yet. Maybe you need to plant a shield, a slime shield, directly on the... How high can I build this? Oh, of course, you only get 20. That's another thing that the manual mentioned. Ooh. Okay, whoop, that seems to be the trick, is defend the ship by hitting them directly. Fortunately, the shots go very quickly. Wow. Uh, you're trying to deflect the slime into those. There's collectors on each side. And uh, the, the alien ship is also shootable. If I could get the cursor lined up. Entering new slime storm. The, the, the idea is the alien ship is seeding uh, slime clouds. Sorry, seeding the clouds with slime, and then it rains down. Oh, you, you rotten alien, you. Oh, and then, oh, the slime raises the sea level, which is also a problem. However, I lost my ship, so... Yeah. So building... Ah! 
building these shields up fairly quickly is uh, key. The manual actually says that. What I'm not clear on is if you put two shields side by side, do they stop anything? The lightning also can destroy shields and a normal slime. That would be nice if it could occasionally work in your favor. Oh my gosh, so the slime raises the sea level. I'm not sure what happens if it gets too high. Oh boy. Fireball. <laughs> this is quite interesting, but also quite challenging. Um, yeah. So let's see about... I'm going to try to put some shields side by side here. And see what happens with the slimes. Oh, they, oh, do they break it? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. This must be my last ship. If you plant too many shields, then one will be taken off the game board. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one out and shoot that slime and try to shoot the saucer. Come here, you. Oh, thanks, Lightning. No, ship, what are you doing? Carbon unit gave it their best. High score of today, 39.40. Carbon unit one score, 39.40. Alrighty. Well, let me maybe have another go of that. I, it is quite interesting. It is quite interesting. Lots going on for sure. Let me. Uh... Oh, why did the number of ships go back to three? Interesting. Starting. So, okay, I'll just use the same settings other than bumping up my the base settings other than bumping up the number of ships to five. Give myself a little bit longer. A little bit longer playtime. Be nice to nail that saucer. It's worth a thousand, I think. That's probably the end of level one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, do I have to de destroy the slime? Probably. There we go. Anyway. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Oh, but now I gotta get rid of these slimes. Okay. Anyway, I'm kind—I'm of, sort of trying to develop my my uh, slime. Oh, almost had him. Almost had him again. I'm trying to sort—I'm trying to develop my slime protection techniques here as I go. So ideally, you're gonna have four or five of these, and then maybe a row across the middle. That. Ooh, that was close protects your uh, ship, I'm going to say. Oh, can't put one there. Hmm. Kind of suboptimal there. Is that it? That's it. Come here, you saucer, you. One of these times I'm going to get him. I think there's maybe a strategy there where you, oh, this is so tough, where you uh, have your shields raised up like this, whoop, not like that, oh, too busy looking at my shields, um, actually I don't know if this is any better, I'm not sure why that's an improvement, but you don't necessarily have to have them 
Yeah, I don't know. Actually, that's maybe not an improvement. I was thinking that if you could somehow offset them and still... Oh, you big jerk face, you. This is a mess of a level. Uh, see if I can improve that a little bit. No! Oh, that was close. Oh, that's very helpful of you to destroy that one. Is that it? That's it, I think. New slime storm. Does the lightning only strike at the beginning of a level? I wonder. Boy, the, the, the positioning of those shields is tricky. You just have to tap the stick a wee bit. Too busy shooting slimes to, to build the shield. Ah! Darn it. Darn it. Carbon unit, prepare yourself. I'm trying. Thanks. Thanks, you. Oh, God. Don't go over that side, ship. No. Okay. I'm not having much luck with uh, some of this business. The slime... The slime collectors are, I'm not quite sure how that's meant to work, like what that does for you. So you need a little bit of room underneath your shield to protect the ship. Oh, that's weird. What happened there? Oh, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh, when the slimes stack up, they... Oh, now that the sea level's up, I'm kind of hooped. So you can't let the slimes stack either. Oh, no, the sea level rise is getting me, just like real the real-life world. How about that? Oh. <laughs> is that? Is that it? Not quite. Wow, the sea level rise is killing me. How prophetic. Oops, there's a hole over here. Okay, so once you get to this point, it's I guess the lightning could come and destroy something, but once you get to this point, wow, it's tricky. Be nice to. Uh... Ooh, that is some big lightning. Come on. Oh no! Oh lord. <laughs> Ships zero. <laughs> I would. You know what? I would totally play this game again. It's it's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah, neat game. I'm sure I didn't ever encounter this back in the day, or if I did, I didn't know enough about what I was doing to enjoy it. Um, I did, I think I mentioned already, I, I quickly read through the manual before I started playing this. And I'm glad I did, because without that I would have been really guessing at a lot of stuff. There's things I didn't see. There's the helicopter there. Uh, apparently those collectors can get plugged. not quite sure what the collectors are doing for you exactly. Other than taking slime off the board, I guess, which is important because the sea level rises seems to kill you as well. Um, you can drop that if you get enough points anyway. All right. So in any case, that's a fun game. 
It's going to do it for my look at Slime from 1982 by Synapse. Hope you got some enjoyment out of it. I know I did. Take good care of yourselves. And I will see you next time. I mean, next time.